Hi, I am Janie, and I am a soulful teacher, and I am a self-love coach, Holy Fire Reiki master, intentional planner, and a actual high school teacher. And I'm here to help you with discovering a new path to intentional self-care through self-love. And lots of planning involved. You can go to my website at soulfulteacher.com and check out all the resources there, as well as this YouTube page or Instagram, wherever you're watching. And I'm here for you. I'm here to share my self-love journey, my self-care journey as well, and I hope you find these videos valuable. And make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, and most definitely feel free to use my affiliate link. All proceeds go to my content creation and it's not an additional cost to you. So I would be, would be very appreciative for that. Thank you so much for your support. Be sure to check out the extension post on soulfulteacher.com and it has additional photos, tips and tricks, things like that. And I hope this helps you on your journey as well. And let's get to it. If you've been following me for a long time, you know that I plan mind, body, soul. And mind is all about tasks and body is all about movement and things that affect my body. And soul is just things that make me happy, spirituality, things like that. This is the vegan Erin Condren. It's a vegan leather Erin Condren vertical 7x9. And this is the traditional one. This is the, the, the big mama. And I really, really love this. So I'm going to claim this planner because I absolutely love it let's get to the calendar again um, look at the video for the calendar coming out soon if not watch the video with the vertical it has that process of how to use these calendars um, really quickly um, lots of color coding um, intentional self-care days planning Remember to remain flexible with those things because you don't know what life may bring. So it could just kind of remain flexible. Um, for this planner, the goal is all about self-care, self-love activities. So I, every planner that I'm showing you has an intention. Okay. So I wanted to give you so many ideas and I'm going to break apart videos to make them into smaller like ideas of where you see, not smaller ideas, but where you see all of the ideas for this, for, for example, for the year at a glance, just those things. It's coming probably mid-month after I post these longer videos, but I'm really excited to share this with you. I hope you enjoy, I hope it sparks ideas for, for your self-love and self-care. For the year at a glance, again, the focus is self-love, um, July, I want to really, really focus now, this is real life. These, these, this, this is stuff that I really, really want to do. Okay. So, and not saying that the other stuff isn't what I want to do. Um, remember, everything is a cafeteria. It's a planner cafeteria of self care and self love. Um, I'm, but these are the things that I really need to do um, this year for at least the, these three months. I'm still planning the rest, but these three months, these are very, they're coming up soon. So, I really got to hone in on what I need to do. So for July, I want to focus on my mindset. I want to flip my thoughts, accept what's happening or come up with a solution and give myself grace for both. Grace for, for me accepting things. Grace for not finding a solution or finding the solution to a problem. And I just want to live in a more positive headspace where it's not toxic, where it's very much in line with the life I want to live, which is a kinder, healthier life that is filled with love, purpose, and attention. So in August, I want to spend more time outside with my family. We've been doing that already, which is really awesome. Um, but I want to do more uh, intentional out going outside because we're going to be going back to school that, that month and it's going to be a little bit more inside. So getting outside, gardening, being with the family, etc., that's going to be something that I really look forward to. For August. So for September, evaluating my routine and adjust as needed. Why? Because again, I just started school in August. So now in September, it's really hunkering down the school year. So now I definitely have to adjust the routine as needed. So 
I want to make sure that I am doing the things that I need to do to continue to live in a balanced um, life as much as possible with flexibility because life happens. For your note pages, you can use them to brainstorm your activities, brainstorm goals, even if they're just like short term or long term goals, whatever kind of goal you like, put them down here. Use the back of the, these note pages for your banks of activities, love, self care, books, um, things you want to buy, things you want to do, DIY projects, things like that, things you want to do for other people. Use these pages for that. Um, reflection and everything under the sun, these note pages are for that. If you haven't seen my video of the compact vertical, it goes into detail on how I create my self-care planner calendars, how they make them flow, how I add everything in here, micro doodles, adventure days, etc. And I'm just going to give you a, little, a quick little overview here, but the main star are the circles and I like to color code. You can use, uh, you can use these little highlighters, you can use pens, you can use, um, anything you like. Um, to make sure that you have all of these in your plans and then how it transitions into the weeks. So for the weekly pages, I have used the beautiful routine. I think these are called routine stickers or um, customizable stickers. I'll put the link in the bio of this YouTube video, but I really like them for the sidebar because it just has everything that I'm going to do this week in there for self care, etc. I put mindset awareness. So remember, I'm going to work on my mindset right here for July. That's my goal here. And so that's something that I'm going to continue doing as well. So another thing I'm working on is, you know, skincare. My skin's looking a little rough. So I have to kind of work on that a little bit more. And then obviously include different meals, etc. So I put little meals here for lunch. Um, also, y'all know I plan mind, body, soul for the most part. So mind, task, body, everything that affects the body. Um, and then soul, obviously things that nurture my soul or that I find joy in, hobbies, etc. So for this last row, I like to put things that I'm learning or reading, etc. So here's March to compare what that kind of looks like all together. So I did this um, obviously in March and it has things that I'm learning, things that I'm doing. Um, and I'm also doing mind, body, soul, I'm not labeling it like this, but I am doing it like that. I like both ways of planning. I like these paper tapes. They're really cool. I love the stickers. I love all that stuff. It's just so nice and it keeps you organized. Um, for me, I'm very much a functional type of planner. I don't really like a lot, a lot of stickers, but I'm kind of growing into loving stickers again. It just depends on the season of life that I'm in. I, I really like these mind, body, soul ones as well. And I like these because they give you little lines and sometimes, you know, my handwriting's all over the place, but you know, it is what it is. I really like them though. They kind of keep everything organized and they're just really fun to use. So something to think about when you're planning is stickers and just flowing with it, go with the flow, do what is best for you. And again, leave those comparisons at the door, do what's best for you and call it a day. When you plan with intention, it shows in your plans. Now, the, another thing is planning and the other one is execution. And so the next series that I'm probably going to end up doing is ex executing the plans. So it's something to think about as we move forward. It's not just about writing them down, which this is very important. Once you get to this step, it's very important. It's very valid. It's very useful and empowering. But the next step is actually going to be executing it, implementing it, taking action. Planning allows you to take your power back so that you can create the life that you want so you can execute those plans into action and live the life you deserve. So I hope this video helps. Thank you for watching.